All right, Libra, welcome in. This is for you. Nice little weekly reading. Let's see what's going on for Libra for the next week. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Librans. So if this doesn't match your Sun sign story, take a look at your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Um, next week, a couple things happening. I'm going to be looking at everybody's North Node or their mission and purpose, each Zodiac sign. Go check and see what your North Node is. Take a look at your birth chart. If you don't know what that is, that's an indicator of your mission purpose. So there's a link below. I have a class if you want to take that so you can understand what's going on. Um, also next week, I start my second cohort of my tarot certification group. If you want to learn to read tarot from me and be part of my tarot community, doing private readings here on the channel, there's a link below. Starts on Tuesday. All right, Libra, what is going on for you? Definitely growth. Ugh. Growth, good fortune. <laughs> I know, right? Truth. Okay, so I feel like there's some really good things coming in, but I feel like they come in through the side door. All right. So meaning um, love, money, whatever you're manifesting right now, good fortune, definitely good fortune. It's coming through a growth experience. And I mean, who doesn't love that? <laughs> Come on. Uh, so we'll clarify that as we go. But growth definitely has to do with like, okay, I see things more clearly now. Um, I was uh, kind of painting a picture for myself that didn't really exist. Maybe uh, uh, projecting onto a situation that it was a way that I wanted it to be and maybe it wasn't. You know, either way, no matter what, it's about kind of just turning your attention uh, to how can, well, how can I learn from this? What is, what is this lesson about? So you don't have to, I'm not saying don't feel your feelings because you definitely need to feel your feelings and you actually need to kind of sit in them for a minute, um, in order to get growth out of a lesson. Um, but what is, what is the thing that still exists in you that keeps you in this spiral of growth with this particular lesson. We can have the same lesson happen to us with bunches of different people, different uh, circumstances, whatever, We're just like, oh man, here it is again. Okay. So there's something like that. I do feel like that's going to bring you uh, aligning with truth is going to bring in a lot of good fortune. Um, and so that might be what the lesson is trying to say. It's like, don't keep yourself stuck. Why are you keeping yourself stuck? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Right? Like, why are you doing that to yourself over and over again? Lucy with the football. Okay. Oh, Charlie Brown. Every time I see that, I'm like, no, but that is a lot of what life is about is about recognizing Lucy with the football. I know. Charles Schultz was such a philosopher. He really was. All right. Let's see where we're going here. We'll keep shuffling, Mary Jo. Okay. What wants to come through for Libras? What wants to come through for Libras? I'm a Libra rising, so hello. All right. Six of Cups underneath. There is a past life soulmate here. The Seven of Pentacles the five of wands, the six of pentacles, the seven of swords, the knight of pentacles, and the six of cups. I keep getting this story. There's the tower and the sudden movement. Okay. So I keep getting this. I feel like you're dealing with a past life soulmate or, or just, we can just, let's just talk about it in terms of contracts right now, because uh, it could be a person or it could be, um, just a lesson that shows up in a lot of different, in a lot of different ways. Um, I feel like you have been putting a lot of time and effort into this. There's a lot of struggle in this person's life or in this situation. And I do feel like your role here is a lot about being a helper, my little helper. Okay. There's something like that. Six of pentacles. I feel like this person is trying to get to you or this situation is trying to get you um, going in a different direction. The Seven of Swords here, there's secrets. Maybe this is a third party situation or something like that. But this person's a Knight of Pentacles, which doesn't match third party energy at all. So it may, it may be just that um, 
because Knight of Pentacles is about being trustworthy. And Seven of Swords is the opposite of that. Okay, so I feel like this, you might be uh, dealing with a person who's very much in conflict. These are the cards that are underneath the deck. And so these are the things that you may not see what's going on. This person does want to move toward you, but there's a lot of, of, of um, obstruction in their way. Okay, tower. It is going to blow up. And then I do feel like this person or this situation comes at you fast. So if you're kind of connected with somebody who's going through something right now and you're just trying to help them, right? This is a, a past life connection, could be a past life soulmate. Well, definitely soulmate, a uh, past life person who's really going through some rough things. Okay, this could be you going through some rough things and there's a person who's really helping you. Uh, it does feel like there's a tower in the future. I'll clarify that. Um, this can be just the awareness of, okay, this was a growth lesson for me. Okay. And now I can move forward. Or it can be that person has some um, aha moment. You have an aha moment. This is, you're both having aha moments. Okay. So here we go. Strength. This is the, the reading that is showing up on the top of the deck, which is all about what's consciously happening, what's going on around us. Strength card, the uh, sun card, getting a lot of Leo recently in readings. So we do have a full moon in Leo happening at the end of January. Um, I'll be doing um, some readings around that as we get closer. Um, wow. And this is Leo too. King of Wands. See the big old smiling lion there in his, his throne? So what is Leo about? Leo is about creativity. Leo is about joy. Leo is about strength and power. Um, Leo is about um, fun and sex and, you know, uh, all things that are um, joyful, right? There's the King of Wands is very much about a taking action kind of experience, the sun card is about taking action on your passion or on your joy. And then the strength card is like overcoming a situation that may be a struggle. Okay. Um, maybe you are because the strength card, I like the strength card because she's like, it's called fortitude in some decks. So it's kind of like the power to move through something, learn the lesson and become stronger because of it. That is going to bring in a lot of good things. Okay. Ten of wands. Page of Cups, whoopsie, come on back here. Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Um, I do feel like love is coming in. There's an opportunity here. Uh, maybe this person that you're dealing with really has to put down some kind of lesson that they're learning about codependency or about um, something has run its course, Ten of Wands. Something has gone the full distance. There might be a small offering of love followed by a bigger offering of love. I feel like you might be prepared for that or maybe having to go through some kind of tower to be prepared. Let's see. Temperance, there's Sagittarius. High Priestess, Cancerian Energy, and the Six of Wands. So we are getting a victory card here. I really like this. And I feel like the only card here that's showing even a remote connection to this uh, situation under the deck is this 10 of wands. And I feel like some of you are holding on to a situation that's going on like off stage. Okay. If you ever, if you ever watch any Greek drama, all right, <laughs> I don't know, showing you a little bit of my college experience, having to watch Greek dramas for a class, right? Greek drama, a lot of stuff. And if you've read it, you know, a lot of stuff um, happens off stage. A lot of the main drama happens off stage. Like it's not depicted in the play in front of you. You just hear something from like off, off stage or a messenger comes running onto the stage to deliver a message to the king or something like that. But like the war is raging over there and you're not seeing that on stage right? But you're, what you're seeing on stage is the, what's being presented to you is the important part of the drama. The other stuff comes in to move things along. They're like, you know, in playwriting, there are little um, 
um, uh, ways of moving the story along. There's a word for it. Um, uh, I just had it and it just disappeared. Uh, <laughs> that could be part of this reading. Uh, little, um, little, no, I'm not going to have it. <laughs> okay. So you probably know the word I'm searching for. It's not in my brain right now. Um, at any rate, I just feel like this is a good place to be. So I'm not worried about you. Like Libra, you're in a good place here. The strength card, the sun card, and the king of wands. You're in a good place here. And I feel like the other person is in a little bit of a tougher position. Maybe that's what's going on underneath. I'm going to clarify that tower, okay? Because I think the tower, the growth may happen to the other person, okay? The growth may happen to the other person. And it's like, Archangel Michael is bringing this in. There's nothing to do. This high priestess is about an inner knowing. There can be secrets here that are revealed. Uh, I like the victory card here at the end, the six of wands. So um, the other, this, there's not much movement, uh, strength card, sun card, and the king of wands. There's desire to move, but there's not much movement there. The other person is definitely struggling. Okay. Struggling. Even if you are trying to make an offer to them, they're not really seeing it right now. They're going through all this tough stuff. So the Archangel Michael, I feel like has something to do with this tower. Okay. Archangel Michael is sort of the patron saint of twin flames. Um, I feel like one of you like knows everything that's going on. One of you is like very aware of the twin flame or the past life connection with this person. Now what's the tower? Okay. Because the tower, I've been seeing a lot of like Ace of Swords coming out and truth coming out. And it's just like, I think we need that right now, that there needs to be some kind of blasting through. So there's an objective truth. We've just been dealing with years and years of this is your truth. This is my truth. And there's no real objective truth that you could hang your hat on that you don't get like pummeled for. Right. So um, what's this tower? Eight of Swords, Death, King of Cups, Five of Cups, what's going on here? Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups, lots of cups here. Um, so I feel like this person, the tower is um, something that you're not seeing. I feel like you're not seeing that this person is ending a relationship they are moving on from it. The tower might be that they're going in a different direction than you thought they would be. I think you're not seeing the ending of that relationship. You're not really um, either open to it or available for that truth yet. Um, this King of Cups is somebody who, um, that's interesting, Five of Cups and Three of Cups and then the Eight of Cups. So this person needs to stop focusing on the things that they've lost. They're focusing on the regrets. Instead, the two of cups here is still standing and the three of cups is still standing. This person has allies and partners and, and friends and lots of good things. They're going through a big ending, but they're on the path here. They're going in the direction. I see the six of swords and I see the eight of cups. They're going in a good direction for themselves, but they keep focusing on either the past or something that isn't for them, right? This person isn't available. Even though 10 of cups, I do feel like at some point in the future, this might be the right person, but maybe not right now. If they're going through some really tough stuff and really ending a relationship, what I think you don't see coming is that they need a lot of time. This person needs a lot of time, okay? And this may be in your future, but like not right now. Okay. It's showing up though. It's showing up for some reason. And I am seeing that you are, you know, really in a good vibe here. So uh, some of you are focusing on a person who's not ready. Okay. Like that person's not ready. That person's still dealing with their crap. The, the page of cups in the middle there, like you're trying to make little kind of, you know, uh, Hey, Hey, and it's just not working because they're just not available. But I think you're not seeing uh, Ace of Cups trying to come in. There is, the universe is trying to bring in 
love for Libra, trying to bring that in. And I feel like the, um, I love that the high priestess is here and along with the Archangel Michael, because this is definitely about being able to really see the overall picture, uh, really being connected to your guides, connecting to spirit and kind of being able to pull back and going, okay, I see that. Okay. Right. And not getting too twisted around in that storyline. I think that's the way forward. All right. So I'm going to dive into this reading a lot deeper. I'll pull cards for each Zodiac sign. I'll see where we're going here. I feel like you're being offered love from a different person than this, that you're not really recognizing yet. And I'm going to, let's see, let's just pull some cards for timing right now so we can uh, start off. So we can start off quickly in the extended. Okay. Um, <laughs> in time for Leo season. Are you kidding me? There is, okay, Libra, there is something really, you need to write this in your journal and date this because I do feel like this might be a little bit of a predictive reading. Sometimes things are just like reading the current situation and the opportunities. This feels like um, someone is trying to offer you love, could be a king of wands, could be a Leo. Look at all that Leo on that top shelf there. Um, cancer, temp, um, um, Sagittarius. I feel like what's going on right now is going to pale in comparison by the time we get to Leo season. All right. You heard it here first. Link is below. If you want to continue on with me, Libra, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.